Hello everyone and welcome to Scale Car Models. I am Rick Arter and today I'll be taking a look at the Monogram 124 scale 1992 Firebird Formula model kit. This happens to be part of the Dream Ride series from Monogram. It's more of a simplified builder if you will. Skill level 2 so require you to have paint and glue to assemble the model as per instructions in box art. Now what I'll do is show you guys a look around the box and then we'll open it all up, look at all the parts inside and then I'll let you guys know what I think of the kit. Taking a look around the box, you can see they have a nice illustrated picture of what the model could look like if you build it as per the directions. And then here they just have the paint guide as well as some model building tips. Same pictures on either side. Here they give you a small picture of the kit built up, the engine compartment, the roof, rear section, and the hood. And some information about the car and the model. It's 8 inches long, features 78 parts, it's molded in white. You also have water slide decals, chrome plated parts, clear and red molded parts, as well as your black vinyl tires. On opening the box, everything's nicely bagged up in individual bags. Right on top here you can see your vinyl tires. Pretty soft. I'm not a big fan of these vinyl tire parts trees here but they're pretty easy to clean up chrome plated parts and your clear parts here nothing too fancy just what you need to build the car front and rear glass tail light section some other small parts in there for the car chrome plated parts same as the clear there isn't much included just what you need to build the factory firebird formula nice de wheels they have in here it looks like pretty detailed as well as some parts for your fuel injected system and your chrome valve cleaner, valve covers. Your bag with all your white molded parts inside. And here is your instruction sheet with the decals included in the middle. Overall nice looking stuff, basically what you'd find on any standard Pontiac Firebird formula. You have the nice decal there for the hood as well as some small decals here. You have some gauge faces in black and white, some other formula decals, license plates. So overall very very nice looking decals there. And your instruction sheet, typical monogram Ravel fashion. Open this up, nice exploded views of all the parts. Looks to be a pretty decent engine there. And there isn't a whole lot of parts, so it's pretty short. Here's your decals placement there, as well as the parts count on the back. Let you know how many parts are there, where everything is, and what they're called. Here are all the white molded parts that come in the kit. There are five parts trees total, plus the body itself. Overall, everything is very detailed. The last Dream Rides kit review I did was a little bit less than what I wanted to see. There were a lot of molded in details. I think it had about 40 parts in it. It was the 85 Camaro Z28 kit. Overall, it was a really good kit. I mean, the detail that was there was very nice. However, the engine setup was a little less to be desired. But it looks like they fixed it in this kit. Very, very nice looking stuff here overall. So let me show you guys a close-up of that. Starting with the Firebird Formula body. Very nice molding on this kit. Definitely a lot of detail there. It's molded in, but at least the detail is there. Taking a look underneath. Thing looks very, very nice. Doesn't look to be any warpage or any problems with the body. I really, really like that they included a full engine and transmission in this kit. Whether you plan to build this stock or you want to use this, I believe it's an LT1, the tune port injection setup. Looks to be a good uh, kit bash engine there. But you can see overall, nice detail here on the chassis. Nice detailing as well as the gauge faces and the vents and everything and the pedal assembly there on the dashboard.
interior bucket looks really nice. Nicely molded in detail there. Center console, rear seat, package shelves all molded together. I don't see any injector pin marks that are going to get in the way. They got some big ones there, but those are right underneath the seats. Overall, really nice. Flip this over. Nicely detailed engine. It's the intake manifold. Fan belt assembly, exhaust manifolds. Two piece seats, kind of a strange, different way of doing it here. And with this kit, compared to the 85 Camaro Z28, there's no pins holding this together. And I've heard somewhere that that kit was kind of a, a modified snap tight kit, which I can definitely see that now. This kit looks like it was fully done as a skill level 2. Front and rear fascias here. This will be your intake assembly. And your rear wing. As well as a nicely molded hood. No opening there, but that could probably be done pretty easy. Decent detailing underneath. And the last parts tree here. Has the rest of your engine, suspension, front parts of your seats. Nicely done exhaust system. The detailing there for your O2 sensor, I believe that is. One of the sensors or an extra pipe that goes in there, maybe the AIR system. But overall, really nice detailing. Multi piece rear axle. Still does have coil over shocks and all that built in but not a big deal you can easily cut those off and do your own but yeah very nice looking stuff here I don't really see any flash or any imperfections I really like that engine this would be a manual probably a five speed transmission nicely detailed front assembly the peg style axles no metal axles in this kit so overall guys there you see it parts look excellent I see no problems with any of these parts. Should be a good builder and or kit bash project. And it looks like they even cut out a little bit of the wheel wells there to maybe give you an option to put some bigger tires in there. Possibly. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Like I said, the last Dream Rides kit review I did on the 85Z28 was really not too happy with that kit. But it builds up nice. And I'm sure this one will as well. After taking a look at the 92 Firebird Formula model kit from Monogram, I definitely recommend this kit. I don't see a lot of these types of years of Camaros and Firebirds out on the market for the model kit uh, sector, so it's definitely good to see this. Overall detailing is really nice on the kit. There's only you know roughly 70 parts, but they're nicely detailed. Looks like it's going to build up to be a really good kit. And I'm very happy because the last kit that I reviewed from Monogram from the Dream Ride series was the 1985 Camaro Z28. And that was more of a snap tight kit than an actual skill level 2. A lot of molded in parts. It's a good builder, but I definitely wasn't happy with it. Now, once I opened this and saw all the parts, how it had the separate engine and drivetrain and everything was detailed up really nice. Very happy. Definitely looking forward to some more of these Dream Ride series cars from Monogram if they do build any more of them. But overall, guys, like I said, if you're into this type of car, you're looking for something to take a LT1 tune port injection engine out of, this is definitely the kit for you. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys all have a great day and lots more videos to come.